Okay, um, in this lesson we're going to solve this uh, improper integral. Okay, so we're given the integral of e to the minus x dx going from 0 to infinity. Okay, again, so this is an improper integral. Uh, the upper bound is going to infinity. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, right, the first thing that we have to do is rewrite this in terms of a limit. Okay, so we're going to get limit as b goes to infinity from 0 to b of e to the minus x dx. Okay. So now we're going to take the integral and then take the limit of that. Okay. So using the power, using the substitution rule, okay, we let u be minus x. Okay. And then that's going to give us du equals to minus dx. So therefore, we have that we're going to take the limit as b goes to infinity of minus e to the negative x going from 0 to b. Okay. Okay, so plugging in b and then plug in zero, so we have minus and then a negative will give us positive. Okay, so then um, all right, so actually yeah, let's go ahead and split this up. So we're going to get the limit of minus e to the negative b plus the limit of e to the zero just one as b. Okay. So the okay. So then we get okay. So for this limit, this is just the limit of a constant. So we get one here. Here, okay. Um, this is e to the minus b. So e to the minus b, that is the same as saying 1 over e to the b. So as b approaches infinity, this is going to give you a large number, right? So you get 1 over a large number or 1 over infinity, the whole expression will go to 0. Okay. So we actually get, in this case, we're going to get 0 here. Therefore, right, uh, we get the value of 1. So this, this integral, okay, therefore this integral is, is converging. Okay, so again, over here I have the graph. Okay, this is the graph of e to the minus x. Okay. So, okay, so what, again, what this tells us geometrically, okay, so we have the lower bound here at zero, okay, and your upper bound, okay, let's just put it here. This upper bound is, is approaching infinity, okay. So as you, as we increase B, okay, the area, the corresponding area that you see is approaching one, okay. So that's what this is telling us. The area is approaching 1 as b approaches infinity. Okay. So therefore, this integral is convergent. Okay, so it converges.